Of course, I'm generalizing here, so don't get your chamois in a bunch, but roadies tend to prioritize performance above all else because they like to pretend that every single bike ride is a stage in the Tour de France. Make the bike as stiff as possible while making it as light or as aerodynamic as possible. Fixed gear riders, on the other hand, we tend to favor the exact opposite. Make the bike as simple as possible with components used over decades of hard riding for bikes that are fast and fun as long as you're not riding up a mountain. But Specialize, one of the leaders of road bike design, attempted to bridge the gap between roadies and fixed gear riders with the aluminum Specialized Linkster. Did they accomplish the impossible and successfully mix oil and water and bring peace, love, and understanding to these two staunchly elitist forms of cycling? Or did they just make a lukewarm track bike in roadies clothing that flip-flops more than its rear hub? that appeals to neither side. From Poland, let's take a closer look at Martin's 2012 Specialized Linkster build in this fixed gear bike check. Although fixed gear riders and road bikers don't often agree on what makes a good bike, or how we should even ride our bikes for that matter, one thing we can all definitely agree on is that by now, Everyone has absolutely heard of Raid Shadow Legends. But did you know that it's Raid's second anniversary? It started out small with just an idea and a bunch of cool character art, but then it completely blew up and took the world by storm like no one was expecting. Raid has become the number one RPG in the US with over a million daily players and a massive community that is in fact way bigger than the global fixed gear community. How's that perspective make you feel? Hopefully proud because Raid's community has made some awesome songs, competition, cosplay, <laughs> what's up, and good times. Like the good times I have casting Hellraiser with Gaelic to give himself a 30% speed boost. Wish I had that for biking. Raid's anniversary event is running all the way through the middle of April, all of them with dope prizes. They're also releasing the first champ in the super cool Shadow Confession. My favorite is Yoshi the Drunkard because he reminds me of my uncle that I haven't been able to see for a while. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code you're seeing right now and you get your free epic champion Jotun, who's amazing for Doom Tower by the way, 100k silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. You'll find extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in game. Specialized created this iteration of the Langster in 2012 during the petering out phase of the fixie craze that took hold of the world. That craze was a time where people who never even considered getting into cycling were starting to ride fix your bikes just because they look so dang cool. It was a time where weekly 100 person group fix your rides were not unheard of. It was a time where fix your was more mainstream. Specialized sought to bring their bread and butter demographic roadies into the fixie equation with the updated 2012 Langster, complete with roadie accoutrements that fly in the face of accepted fixed gear preferences. From a plethora of road bike racing stripes to at least make you look fast in case you can't ride fast, a giant down tube logo to blend in with fellow roadies, not one, not five, but two sets of bottle bosses that, although useful, the purest and most elitist face your riders would scoff at because you can't drink water while you're racing on the track or whatever. An exotic formed top tube that in my fixy eyes would make the hunchback of Notre Dame feel less self-conscious about his body. Constructed with a sensible or repulsive, depending on who you ask, road-esque compact geometry with sloping top tube and most heinous of all, rear cable guides brazed directly onto what's supposed to be a track bike. As offensive as this frame set is to the fix gear eye, it's still head and shoulders above the new and, quote, improved Langster that looks like it's aimed squarely at roadie dads looking to buy 17-year-old Kyle a reliable single-speed commuter to get him to his business administration 201 courses at UC Irvine. Don't get me wrong, though, both of these are probably great bikes because it's specialized and that's what they do. It's just that if we're bringing out the inner fixie snob, they're both a far cry from the competitive track racing imagery that they try to evoke to sell these things. Side note, half of the track geometry elitists have never ridden their bikes on the track, so maybe I'm the ass here? But if all of us fix your riders and roadies just put our elitist inclinations aside for a moment, I 
no, that's a tall order, and just accept the Langster for what it is, we'll find a competently quality fixed gear, or single speed if that's your thing, that provides an excellent foundation for a dependable and fun daily commuter. And that's exactly what Martin aimed for with his build. The handlebars are specialized alloy mini risers, measuring at a comfy 69, nice, centimeters wide, finished with red accent Orion grips because it's arguably not a true specialized unless it has at least a little bit of roadie red, attached to a specialized multi-comp plus 12 degree stem. So what if it's not the most aero performance oriented cockpit in the world because Riding up nice and high and nice and wide is hella comfy and hella fun. In true roadie fashion, we have a Physique Arione saddle that perfectly complements the frames that's finish on top of a specialized sport seat post to round out the specialized kit. The pedals are a set of naked Dartmoor cookie platforms because Martin clearly likes to live reasonably dangerously and place too much faith into his front brake. For the drivetrain, we have a humble but reasonably snazzy looking stock crank set and 48 tooth chainring in an industrial yet classy color combo to further accent the frame's styling. The cog is a random 16 tooth one that works because having only three skid patches matters substantially less when you're not skidding. The drivetrain is linked together with a KMC Z1 wide and the objective best color for a chain. The wheels are custom built accent cross racers measuring in at a slight 17.5 millimeters deep. Laced in 32 spoke to the ever-reliable and acceptably silky sealed bearing formula hubs in orange anno to give the build just that little satisfying boost of character to move it away from its roadie roots and towards a proper, well thought out fixed gear. The standard aluminum specialized Langster is a single speed bike that looks like a road bike that wishes it was a track bike. For both fixed gear riders and roadies, we can finally agree on something, that this is an identity crisis of a bike. Fixed gear riders find the roadie styling and geometry offensive. Roadies find the lack of gears pointless, but with all its quirks, roadie fixie compromises, there is a certain charm surrounding the bike. There's nothing else quite like it. It's a specialized after all, a name that's become synonymous with a stamp of quality in the bike world, and it dives far into the deep end with a design and styling that no other fixed gears have dared to dip their toes into. It may not be the track bike for roadies, I'll leave that designation to the Specialized Langster Pro. I mean, just look at the thing and I know that you immediately know what I mean. <laughs> but the standard Langster is still a quirky and lovable bike. And if you wanna have your fixed gear featured in this weekly bike check series, be sure to check out the instructions on how to do just that in the description below. And fixy famous shouts to Brandon Black, Kelvin Ho, Zane Kolnick, OC Bike, Crew, Ryan Witt, Stan Strong, One Away, Julian Corona, David Clippins, Ellie Lovelace, and Justin Javier for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.